get Project Nexus started. What is this project about? I'm going to build a Bandit XL5 from scrap parts. The pieces you see here are from my wrestler, Demon. Every time I upgraded it, well, I ended up with another spare part. I just didn't want to throw the pieces away, so I held on to them. And now I feel like I have enough to at least start building a Bandit. And the Bandit is going to be named Nexus. Thus, Project Nexus is born. As you can see, I went ahead and printed out all the assembly pages for the chassis, front, rear, and transmission. I've gone through these pages already and highlighted everything that I have. For everything that I don't have, well, I'll pick up all those parts when they become available to me at a low price. Bandit parts really aren't all that expensive just because a lot of people don't like the Traxxas Bandit. I've always liked it. It was actually the first RC I've always wanted to get. And, well, this is going to be a pretty neat way to obtain one. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put together what I can for today, and when I get more parts, I'll put more together. So let's get this started. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shocks. These are the ones that came stock with my XL5 Rustler, of course. I've been upgrading that thing for a long time. If you want to check out any of those videos, just go to my channel. You'll find them really easily. That Rustler is called Demon. But anyways, go and fill that up with silicone oil, get a rubber cap, put that on. The shock caps came from the big bores. These are aluminum. I just didn't like the gray look to them, so I got the blue aluminum shock caps. Replaced it for those, or these, I mean. Go ahead and try to screw that on. Come on. So I guess that's already an upgrade from the XL5, since these are not made of plastic, they're made of aluminum. Alright. Get that on there. Put the spring on. And these springs came stock with the big boards as well. But I got a spring set for my wrestler, so I didn't really want to use the white ones. But they will work just fine for Nexus. Alright, one shock down, three more to go. I'm not going to really show that since it's the same exact thing that I just showed you here. The shocks have been taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the front shock tower. I'm going to start by attaching it to the bulkhead. And it's attached to the bulkhead using only two screws. So a funny little story about the front shock tower. This is not the one that came off my wrestler. I broke that one and replaced it with an RPM one, which is very nice. I haven't broken that thing yet. But anyways, I was on eBay looking for a front shock tower, and they're actually kind of pricey. But I found a Bandit front shock tower for only 75 cents, and that's including shipping and handling. So, <laughs> like I said, Bandit parts are really cheap, even though the majority of them are identical to the wrestler. But if they have that Bandit title, they automatically, well, are cheaper. Interesting little secret. So I'll go ahead and attach the shocks to the front shock tower. Just use one of these shoulder screws, put that in through the top. Washer goes on the other end. Now, I just got to screw it in there. Easier said than done, of course. Alright, get it lined up. Get it going. There we go. Get in there, get in there. And there is one. I want to over tighten it and strip it. Let's go ahead and do the other. Like before, shoulder screw and washer. Go ahead, line that all up. Screw that in. And we should be done with the front shock tower for today. 
I could attach this to the chassis, but I want to do some, well, some work on it. Got to re-dye it and fix it up a little before I start attaching things to it. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the rear shock tower. Now the rear shock tower is actually an RPM. However, I went ahead and replaced it with a new one for my Rustler. And this one, it's still actually in pretty good condition. It's just old. <laughs> I had an extra RPM rear shock tower given to me for free due to a shipping error. And I thought it was a good time to go ahead and put that on the Rustler. So this one became the spare. Which is a good thing, because I broke the original rear shock tower for my wrestler as well. I've broken a lot of things on that wrestler. I don't break anything anymore. Everything's made of aluminum or hardened plastic. But yeah, it's just like the front shocks. You get a shoulder screw. Washer on the other end. Line it up, screw it in. You should be good to go. If you're wondering what the clicking is, for it's the screwdriver. It's kind of like a socket wrench. If I don't have to pull the screw off, or the screwdriver off and readjust it, I could just keep turning it. It's very nice. I wish I had the same option for my hex screwdriver, but oh well. Gotta take what you can get. Don't want to overstrip that. And now the rear shock tower is done. That is all I'm going to do for today. Once I go ahead and take care of the chassis, like I said, I want to go ahead and dye it. It'll cover up all the scratches and everything else that doesn't look too good on it. And I got to take care of these holes and, well, it just needs a little bit of work. And after I do that, I'll go ahead and start attaching things to it and do more. But for today, that is it.